Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range here today with heavy metal, and this video is a part of my own investigation and thought that I would bring you guys along with me. So, recently I went on a whitetail hunt three or four weeks ago uh, with one of my buddies, and I shot a whitetail using one of these rifle tripods. Hit that deer right where I was aiming, dropped it where it stood. That was the first time I ever used one of these tripods. Asked my buddy what it was. He said it was a bog death grip. Uh, so I liked it enough. I went out and bought one. Again, I had only shot that one round off of it. But in my head, I thought to myself, well, it'd be a good training tool for the kids. I'm trying to get in my kids into deer hunting it also keeps it safe you know it keeps the rifle pointed in a you know safe direction at all times that kids aren't you know moving around or whatever but the question in my head was does this rest improve accuracy so no doubt in my mind it makes things easier I just took this with me to my hunting trip in Texas it keeps your rifle at the ready you know you're in the stand all you got to do is this sucker right here bang as opposed to Oh, let me grab my rifle. Where is it? And get it up here. It's a lot less movement. It's a lot less ready. Have that rifle aimed where you think those deers are going to pop out. You know what I'm saying? There's no no doubt about it. Um, it makes things easier and less movement um, having it at the ready. But my question is, do these tripods um, improve your accuracy? So I bought this tripod. Like I said, this isn't some kind of goofy uh, paid advertisement like most of the videos you watch uh, but I plan on using this for hunting a lot uh, but real quick here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shoot off of the we're gonna shoot at a hundred yards this is my Marlin 17 V um, 17 HMR I'm gonna shoot at a hundred yards from the bench then with this and then just from my shoulder so logically I should shoot very good from the bench I should shoot okay with this and then I should probably shoot terrible <laughs> from the shoulder at 100 yards but again this is 17 HMR not a whole lot of recoil so you know we're about to find out does this improve your accuracy over shouldering it it should um, but how close of precision groups can we get with this tripod as compared to the bench rest back there. So check it out, we're gonna start with the bench rest. Let's see what we can do here. Real quick before I forget to tell you, everybody always asks, this is my Marlin 17V. This is a bog death grip tripod, like I said, bought it myself, this isn't some paid ad. Um, I just grabbed the bullets. This is some Norma 17 HMR ammo. And what scope we got on here? Oh no, I aimed the, the gun at the uh, camera there. And what we got on top of this one? I'm looking in the screen. This is a Pinty uh, 4 to 16 power scope. So, pretty sweet setup. Let's go down there and take the first shots at the uh, from the bench vise down there. See what happens. And I just remembered, I just filmed sighting this in from a bench vise at 100 yards. So, I'm not going to try to pull some movie magic on you, but here's a seven shot group of me um, shooting it from the bench vise. Check out the group that we got um, with this setup on the bench vise. Logically should be our best group. Let me roll that footage in. Almost no recoil out of this thing. Pretty, pretty sweet. thing can shoot. Pretty good group here so far. Real good group. And I'm really not even trying that hard. I'm squeezing them off here pretty quick. Come on, baby. Is that all the ones are loaded? Yep. 
All right, so you just saw the group I got from the bench vise just about in the same hole every time, right? So let's shoot a five shot group on the tripod fully extended. Me, I'm six foot six, I gotta crouch just a little bit. Well, let's see what we can do here. Five shots from the tripod. Same exact setup here. All the zooms. Definitely feels a little bit more shaky. This has me worried of what my group's going to look like from the shoulder. It's probably going to be terrible. But I'm going to try my best here. Kind of surprised myself a little bit there. Now I'm going to load up five more and shoot from the shoulder. All right, now from the shoulder, I'll do my best here. Five shot group. See what I can do. It's going to be terrible. Yeah, hit the plate. Grouping good, but not where I'm aiming. And one more shot, and we'll go down there. Let's go down there and check the groups out. All right, so let me pop up a picture again of the group I got from the bench rest. It was pretty good. And all the ones are loaded. Yep. Some of those were in the same hole. Now let's look at the one with the tripod here. This is the group with the tripod. So two of those are touching, but they're all, you know, that's a thumbnail sized group there. Uh, with that tripod so not too bad and this is from the shoulder so that's absolutely terrible chances are I would miss a squirrel every single time from the shoulder at a hundred yards that's pretty sad so definitely there is something to be said about those tripods so honestly kind of what I expected but I did not expect those tripods to actually be that good like I showed you guys when I dropped that white tail from the tripod that impressed me enough that I went and bought one myself but I did not think we would do that good standing straight up with that bipod extended all the way up me still standing definitely definitely kept me still a lot more stiller than I expected but let me know if you've ever used one of those tripods what do you think about it as always Appreciate y'all watching big time. Again, a big shout out and a big thanks to Heavy Metal. Y'all go subscribe to them. I'll go take a look at Amazon, see if I can find that exact tripod. If you guys want to go check it out, and I'll put the link down below. But as always, appreciate y'all big time. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below ideas for future videos. Appreciate you guys big time. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -hoo.